Here we got something subscribers sent. Laminated pen blanks. This is just laminated wood, stained and then glued together. I'm pretty sure that's all that this is. You know, people do the wood churning pen blank stuff. Gorgeous designs. This sort of stuff, you know, that sort of thing. Crazy, just bonkers. I'm not getting the lathe out in this video. I'm hand carving this. I want shape, not just circle cone, but shape. Pro there probably won't be all that much shape, but. That's what I want. We're gonna use this one first. Let's start with this. I, I just like the red against the wood. I think that's gonna look fantastic on a lure when it's done. For the longest time, I actually thought that this was micarta, but then I took a nice close look at it. And nope, it's wood glued together. So I was gonna call this making a lure out of micarta or something like that, but it's pen blanks. And yeah, this is what you think it is. One day. 9.39. Whoops. I'm pretty sure it don't matter what side. Well, I'm 100% I'm certain it doesn't matter what side I put this on. Duh. But let's just keep it simple and let that laminate stuff shine. The layers. Let the layers shine. Have to adjust my guard, but I just noticed that this stuff cuts like very hard wood kind of expected. All right, I just tested some lip material. That is the perfect thickness of a lip slot. Like it holds itself, but it slides in nicely. Worked out good there. Bit of a traditional jerkbait shape, but it's gonna have a joint in it. Hopefully that changes that traditional flickery jerkbait action into a kick, or it gives it a bit more of a kick. This line needs to be on the other side as well. That's easy to do with a square. You can find these awesome squares on my Amazon store, maybe. I, have, I actually don't know if I put those on there or not. And if you're a regular viewer of the channel, you've seen me do this about 27 times, so you know what I'm doing. What's the center? The center is between two different colors. One, two, three, five. Oh no, okay. So the center is more the red one in the middle there. I'm gonna stay away from it though. That laminated red stuff, the stained red wood in here has a really bright, good color. Like it's really well stained. It almost seems like it's fluorescent, but it's probably not. I guess I could check right now. No, it's just red. It's not UV enhanced or fluorescent or anything. Okay, more marking and carving. We're just gonna taper this down. Having all of those layers of the same thickness of wood, like you can really see where your marks belong and stuff and it makes it's gonna make it easy to carve this bait out very accurately with a ton of reference points, you know? I'll screw it up somehow, but I had a ton of reference points. I need a pen. I can't see anything on here. There's too much going on. There, you barely see that. Mm. More lovely noises coming out of the Marling Bait Shop. Mm. Well, that is just simple interesting and beautiful all at the same time. I can't wait to get some curvature. To the champ viewers. Oop. Plug in the lead pot. That was close. Eye sockets, 3 8 inch. Doing that beforehand is gonna help out a lot. It's gonna force me to leave material and actually have a designated eye socket around the perimeter of that eye socket. And this appears to be some kind of wood that I have to pay attention to while I'm carving. Not used to that, used to carving on Tupelo wood where you can treat it like butter.
That's looking beautiful. Is that too much lippage? I think so. I think that's way too much lippage. Let me grind this down a bit. This is how I polish my lips anymore on this big piece of leather right in front of me. I don't even get my strop out anymore. Woo, that's gonna be pretty. Polished, man. That's set in there. Now I'm gonna drop some of the building blocks to life in there. AKA super glue. Looks like we need a new fine applicator. It actually matters less on a jointed bait how straight your lip is, believe it or not. You can get by with it being less straight. If you took lures straight from the factory, depends on the brand and stuff, but there's lures sold out there that are, their lips are just not very straight, but they work because you can adjust the line tie back and forward and get it to run straight. I suggest when you're making your own, you just always go for as straight as possible. But now, I need to recarve out that eye socket with the lip right there, which will be very difficult. I'm gonna drill a small hole and try to flatten off a section of that lip close like into the center of that eye socket, and then come back in with the big bit. But look at how beautiful this is turning out. Jointed crankbait, jointed jerkbait actually. Jointed lipped jerkbait. Quarter inch Forstner bit. Whoops. Well, the good news is that the super glue pretty much saved the day and held all that together while it ripped the lip out. So, let's do something a bit smarter and get this lip cut out to an appropriate shape before we glue it in. Okay, I think we're sitting a lot prettier. So with the goal in mind of just being able to drop an eye inside of the eye socket without the lip getting in the way, we've done it, but that looks kind of strange. I think some clear coat's gonna get in there and make it look just fine. Just gonna put some super glue on the sides of this lip. And there's a lip that will never go anywhere. Let's get some lead in this bait. That was a weird shaving. Spirally. Sorry. All right, lead. Happens to be hot. Look at that. We got a Mount Leadmore going. Don't be bashful. Get that flattened out. This is seriously a technique I use. Flattens it out and kind of pounds it into that hole so you can kind of be rest assured that it's not going anywhere. Sometimes you can pour that lead and then like make it fall out, but now it's secure. Let's cover it. Super glue biking soda. It's time, dum dum dum, to cut the bait in half all the way. I, get, I need to make some hardware too. I cannot forget about that. I can't even have a lure if I forget about that. I'm gonna put a little bit of lead in this back piece. Quarter ounce, or quarter inch diameter hole. Let me do that really quick. I wanna balance out this bait just a bit. Even if it doesn't do anything really, it's gonna make me feel better. All right, we got a little bit of lead in there. Cover this up. There are the two lead holes, one in the back, one right there, everything's close to the joint. There's gonna be a treble hook off the back, weighing that down for all that wood. Line tie, lip put, pulling the bait down right there, waiting the, yeah, I don't know. I was just blurting a bunch of stuff. That's how I make lures, right there. That was a perfect summary of what I think of while I make lures. Now I am interested in doing nothing else except giving this whole thing a super glue bath before I drill pilot holes or do anything else. I just want to stabilize all this and get this wood sealed. I always feel better once the wood is sealed. It's a requirement for lure making. Seal that wood. Wow, that got pretty. It got dark. Before, after. That's pretty. 
It's like a white oak or something. I don't know, could be something else, I don't know. Oh no! Sorry, that was a little dramatic. I just, I just dropped my bait and I was like, oh no! Shorten the screw eye so it fits in this bait. Just for the front hook hanger, this bait's kind of short. Those certainly do fit tight. And then the joint connections are just gonna get the standard old twist wire. Dang, that is an unbelievably tight fit. That almost broke that screw eye. That does not need glue, but it's getting glue. But I do have the holes drilled out where they need to be for those joint connections. We're ready to paint though. Starting with wicked white on the belly. I mean, white belly, black top, black around the eye. That's literally all I'm gonna do, so don't get too excited. Like that. Got that lip taped off. There's the belly. I decided not to put black on it because I don't want to cover that up, but I did want to cover the lead holes up, so. And now it's time for eyeballs. So when it comes to a pair of eyes that's best for this bait, I've already decided on those. Those are pretty much just walleye eyes. I guess the iris, out, just outside of the pupil, 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 it's the same color as the wood, and there's no red in them, which I think complements the red on the bait better. It just shows it off better. There's my reasoning, and here is what it looks like. I think that looks fantastic. Yeah, man, that's pretty classy stuff. Looking good. UV clear coat. That was pretty quick, I think. 11.41. Oh, wow. A lot nicer lines everywhere with a clear coat. Let's try to keep that clear coat thick. In order to do that and keep the clear coat thick, I kind of have to keep an eye on the drippage, clean off a drip, and then put it in there immediately so I don't solidify a drop off the bottom. You know what I mean. One sec. Wipe off the drips. And in the tank you go. And there's the back piece. Neato Mosquito. We got the hardware done. Some fantastic little joint connections right there. Just gotta wait for this bait to finish setting in the UV tank. And that's the last thing you do is add those two and put the bait together. Just glue it up with super glue. You need nothing else. It's gonna be about a half an hour, maybe more. I'm gonna keep turning these and leaving it in that tank. And oh my gosh, do I have a spot for you guys that we're about to go to. The locals around those parts call it the ditch. I call it pike heaven. You'll see. I really hope you'll see. <laughs> I better get a pike. Too big. That would have been perfect. Dang it. I know there's music and stuff going over this, but dang it. Chelsea tied that. Oh. Forgot I had this one. This is a very user-friendly bait. Very easy to use. Ooh, that was a fish. Oh, 
you guys saw that small mouth, please tell me you saw that. I would murder a man for that small mouth. Oh, he hit it again. Why didn't it hook up? I, w I wouldn't actually do that. Crazy overstatement. Got him. Oh, lost him. It's just playing with it. I snagged it on the belly. Oh, right when it landed. Decent pike. Ah, eh, kind of a small one actually. Just haven't felt a fish in a while. It's official. Pike-like laminated wood pen blank jerk baits that are jointed. That's a decent one. Should probably get a big camera shot for you. That took a while. That was almost two hours. Be free. One day complete. Started at 9. 303. Success. Sorry, it's weird. I'm talking to cameras. Yeah. Marling Bates. Next stop, you guessed it, Jesse's. Let's uh, just see for a while if a bass will bite this thing. It's getting a bit later. This might be the last spot. Let's just see. Actually, no pike in here. Let's get rid of this leader. I don't like leaders. I only use them when absolutely necessary. Crazy thing is it was completely not necessary for that pike because it had it on the back treble hook. Didn't feel any teeth on the line. Enough story time, let's fish. It moves a lot better without the leader. Probably get some better action shot too. Unfortunately, all that we managed to muster was kind of snagging a small mouth and catching a pike with that bait. Had some other hits. Fish weren't committing to that bait as much as they would a soft plastic right now like a three inch soft plastic paddle tail, twister tail. They're making the decision to go after stuff, but they're not committing as much as I want them to right now, but kind of a nifty little bait. Honestly, kind of pointless. I mean, it's cool. Laminated wood, different colors, cool design. I don't know, I just like painting more. Really smacked my lips really hard right there. I must feel a certain way about this. I just like painting more, I guess, but now I can say I've done that. I've used a pin blank to make a lure. Couldn't get a ton of good action footage because the water's really dirty and that bait kind of dives, but you get the gist. It wasn't all just straight retrieves. It was getting it to do stuff. But the video was a success. Got a fish. One day. Video's over. And I am especially excited for the next one. I'm not going to show you because I might change my mind on what I'm making, but we're going to ramp up the detail. That yeah, let's just leave it at that. We're going to ramp up the detail. Thanks for watching. It's been real. On to the next bait. Pen blanks. Oh. You know what I mean. Oh, no. Whoops. Dum, dum, dum. Yeah, man. That's pretty classy stuff. Mm -hmm. Just bonkers.